This episode's brought to you by Red Cape Films. Welcome everyone back to yet another Red Cape Sports video. I'm your host, Bird Bouchard, bringing to you guys yet another laptop video. Um, hopefully everyone's staying safe due to COVID-19. Um, I'm very excited to be bringing you all yet another video. Um, this one's pretty awesome. It's five current NBA players who I believe um, are currently undervalued. Um, and these are all going to focus on PSA 10 cards. Um, now hopefully you don't go ahead and skip ahead in the video just to get to the picks. Because before I start, there are a few things that I want to mention. First and foremost, Mitch and I are very excited to be launching our first website redcapesports.com so this is the landing page you know we got some quick buttons to our facebook page twitter instagram youtube the whole nine yards um but i i, I did want to mention really quickly um that we are going to be rolling out a paid member program now before you all react to this i do want to mention that of course you know we're still going to be continuing uh to make free youtube um, we're still going to have the free Facebook page. Um, I'm sure we'll put up a link to it um, or a picture or something. Um, we have a lot of great engaging content there. Um, a lot of advice going on, um, a lot of opinions being spread around, and just a lot of knowledge. So, of course, we're still going to offer that. Um, we truly believe for $9.99 a month, um, the value that you will all be getting in return is definitely worth it. And, of course, uh, you know, that is also split between Mitch and I. Um, but it definitely does help out. So here are some of the perks. Um, exclusive video library. So we're actually going to be posting some videos. Again, it's not all, but just some videos uh, that will only be exclusive to members. Um, sometimes members will have access to videos, you know, a couple hours before non-members. Um, so we're also going to have top monthly card picks. So for example, in today's video, you're going to see my top five picks. Um, for NBA cards. Now moving forward, we'll still have videos for that um, for that type of stuff for non-members. However, it might just be you know two to three picks. So if you want them all, that will um, be a member perk. We're also going to have a monthly live Q and A sessions, um, and of course, this is going to be available to our members only. But at the end of the day, this will just kind of help filter things out um, and and make sure that that we can help everyone out um, in a priority sequence. And then the last one here is Q&A board. So if you guys have questions, you know, you can definitely just uh, add us on Facebook or uh, Messenger, Discord, whatever we end up deciding to go for in terms of platforms. Um, and then, you know, you're basically gonna have direct access to us, pick our brains about anything you want. So all that guys is going to be available for just $9.99 a month, again, if you're interested, you know, we definitely do appreciate it. And if not, you know, hey, um, non-members are still going to enjoy a lot of benefits um, from this YouTube channel. We definitely strive for that. Let's move on to the video. So before um, I jump deeply, deeply into this, I just want to use Jason Tatum PSA 10 cards um, as kind of a, let's call it the pivot point. Um, and the reason why I say that is because Jason Tatum is a good player, but by no means would I say he's a superstar or an all-star. Uh, you know, and uh, I definitely think that you could call him a good player. Um, and just looking at his PSA 10 cards, you know, of course, that's a silver, but that's 900. But even the base here, um, and also I do have this sold, um, I do have this, part of me, on the sold completed auction. So we can see here, you know, 220 bucks. That likely went for around 300, 200, 200, 200. So we can see here, his cards are going for about $200. And that's why I just wanted to show it just as, um, you know, that pivot base point for what his cards go for. And then of course we can compare it. Um, so the first card here is going to be Brandon Ingram. So for those of you who don't know, Brandon Ingram, because he got traded to the Pelicans, now plays with Zion. We can see here, you know, whether it be a Selects card, whether it be a Donruss um, or Prism, his card is significantly way underneath 
um, what Jason Tatum cards go for. And I mean, we can see about half the price actually. Um, now, do I think he's half the player of Jason Tatum? Uh, absolutely not. So, I mean, you know, I also do have this um, sorted out part of me by days sold. So we can see here, um, the more I scroll down, uh, the older it will be. But this is all relatively within just a couple days. So we can see here, his cards, at least in my opinion, are pretty undervalued. So that's the first option there, which is Brandon Ingram. And again, these are all gonna be PSA 10 cards. Option number two, we're gonna have a Bradley Beal. So as it loads up here, we can see Bradley Beal's cards are starting to rise. You know, we have 149 here, 135. So they're starting to rise, but they're still not quite at that point yet. Now, Bradley Beal is only two years older than me, age 26. Um, and he's not on a great team now, but he's actually still averaging the second most points in the NBA. So that's definitely something to be said. Um, there are rumors that because um, he's quickly, as, as well as um, Giannis, they're both going to become NBA free agents. And when they do, you know, they can definitely change teams or even team up with, with other superstars. But as you can see here, the point I'm trying to make is his card, again, compared to Jason Tatum and, and even other cards, um, if you do your research, at least in my opinion, if you can get it for around 123 bucks, it should be a pretty good buy. So that's option number two, Bradley Beal. Alrighty, so moving right along, option number three for you all is going to be a young John Collins. Um, now the former Demon Deacon out of Wake Forest, he's pretty young, but he's still averaging 21 points per game. So we've really seen great strides in his game. The Atlanta Hawks are only going to get better. Um, I believe they've already secured a top five NBA pick for the upcoming draft. Um, so, I mean, this this young team, you add in um, Trey Young, you add in John Collins himself, um, DeAndre Hunter, and, you know, the next draft pick that they get and, you know, give them a year, maybe two to three, and they'll be competing um, for an NBA championship. But nevertheless, guys, let's just look at his prices. Um, if, you, if you're in the optic, I mean, that's pretty cheap. You're looking at less than $30 Canadian here. Um, you know, even Refractor, the Hollow Flash, that's pretty good price if you ask me. Um, that's an autograph card um, on card as well, um, which sold for only $98. Yeah, there is shipping too. Um, BGS 9.5, $125. So again, guys, these are all cards that I personally believe as we can see here, just what his base prism cards go for. John Collins, um, I think he's the next up and coming player um, with Atlanta. So John Collins, definitely a great buy right now. Uh, moving on to pick number four. Hopefully I can spell this guy's name right. Let's see. And I'm actually just gonna get rid of Prism. And there we go, Kristaps Porzingis. Uh, so we can see what his card goes for here. Um, we can actually see that Probstein123 owns a lot of them. So obviously Probstein, um, whoever you are, you obviously believe in him. Um, but the reason why I believe in, in Kristaps is first and foremost, he's a stud. He can shoot the threes, um, he can rebound, he can dunk, he can do it all. But most importantly, he plays for the Dallas Mavericks um, with a top 10, maybe even top five player in the world in Luka Doncic. Um, he's young himself. And with the rumors, because Giannis is soon gonna become a free agent, is that Dallas could be a landing spot for him. And the main reason for that, just because Mark Cuban's got money and obviously he's willing to pay top dollar. Um, you know, of course, um, he's, he's never going to be able to make more money um, being Giannis um, if he actually leaves Milwaukee. But the thing is, can he win a championship in Milwaukee? And I, I personally believe that he will be ring chasing um, and we can see a dynasty um, in Dallas in just a few more years. So again there guys, just wanna look at the prices, whether you're interested in select or you know prism base, whatever it is, I personally believe those prices are cheap. And again, just use um, Jason Tatum as a good uh, reference point. And then the last one here is going to be a good buddy of mine 
out of the Ohio State University, D'Angelo Russell. Now you might say, and I, you know, actually I guarantee someone's gonna say, why D'Angelo Russell? This guy sucks. Um, you know, he hasn't done anything. I wouldn't necessarily say that he hasn't done anything yet. Um, you know, basically since he got into the league, he was just traded from place to place to place to place. Um, never really given too, too much of a chance. You can definitely argue me that he has been given a chance, but nevertheless, now he's in an interesting position. The Warriors may have sucked this year, but my oh my next year with a healthy Clay, with a healthy Steph, with a healthy Claymon, uh, Draymond, pardon me, with a healthy D'Angelo, and they have secured the top pick in the NBA draft. Uh, so whether that be Lamella Ball, whether that be Wiseman, Toppin, whoever it may be, that is going to be a solid, solid team. And D'Angelo Russell rookie cards now, as we can see, as I'm scrolling down, specifically, um, you know, the prisms, wink, wink, um, they are pretty cheap. And for the record, guys, I just do want to say, um, again, that I actually don't own any single one of these cards. Um, I know that they're cheap, you know, 60 bucks. Um, it's just right now due to COVID-19 and just due to life, um, being a student, looking for a job and being a journalist, we don't get paid well. Um, I just don't have the money to, to buy these cards. So, you know, I definitely do love offering my advice. So if I can't have them, then I want them to go to our followers. So again, guys, those are five, at least in my opinion, five great buys um, for NBA cards. So if you guys enjoyed this content, please do not forget to smash the like button. It really helps us out with YouTube's algorithm. Um, and again, I'm not saying you guys have to in any way, shape, or form, but if you are interested, please check out our website at redcapesports.com. Um, and if you're interested, we'd love to, uh, we'd love to see you, uh, become a member. Um, and of course, if you can't afford it, no big deal. Um, we definitely promise. And we also strive to create awesome, engaging content for free on YouTube and also on our free Facebook page. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it until next time. Peace.